Right, so as it says on the screen right now, this is the Legends of Manchester United. In this series, I have searched back to the beginning of the Premiership, back in 92 to 93 season, and found all of the players that are still playing on FIFA 16. I'm going to start with the lowest overall team with eight bronze and three silver players. Every win or rage quit that I get will be an upgraded player. If I lose, there'll be no upgrades. Welcome back guys to week 4 of my Manchester United series, it's called the Legends of Manchester United, it's basically any player that has ever played for Man United, who's owned a contract with Manchester United, um, and if they're still on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team, I'm playing them in this series. So this is a team that I will be playing, it's a Premiership Hybrid 81 rated team, 100 chemistry, Remy up front, Begovic in goal, you've got players like Walcott and Ramsey, this is going to be a very, very interesting game. So in the past three weeks, I talk about previous players that have played for Man United. A little bit of a fun fact series, just so you get a bit of memory on the players, just if you don't remember them. Uh, this week will be on Tom Fulp. He was born in uh, the 13th of January 1993. His full name is Thomas, Thomas Joseph Fulp. He was born in Manchester. He's 23 years old and is a centre-back for the Championship Club Rotherham United, a product of the Youth Academy of Manchester United, Fulk was loaned out to Championship Club Birmingham City in 2014. He represented England at all youth levels from England's under 16 to the under 21, winning the 2010 uh, European under 17 championship. He only played one game for Man United from the 2014 and 15 series. He played six games for Birmingham um, in 2014 and he's currently, from what I've seen on Wikipedia, played seven games and he's scored two goals. He was born in Manchester, Fulp joined Manchester United on a first year academy uh, um, contract in July 2009 at the age of 16. Uh, his debut came against Liverpool on the 13th of December 2008 um, and he played the whole game. Uh, they won 3-1. It was a youth game, remember that guys, don't want comments below saying that I'm wrong. Falk took over as captain of the reserve team, now known as the under 21s from the 2012 and 13 season. Falk's performance earned him a nomination for the reserve player of the year award, however he did finish third behind Genocide and Marnik the Mill, I probably said that completely wrong and I do apologise for my poor uh, spelling. My fault on Falk. Looking at his youth and the start of his professional career, he looked a very promising centre-back. He's played loads of games for youth, for the uh, club and country. He's played from the under-16 to the under-21 as stated above. I believe I may have seen him in a few games for the youth team when I used to watch Man United TV all the time, back when NTL was a thing. Uh, Man United have managed to bring in some really solid centre-backs in the past few years. Uh, obviously, we've let a lot of them go. Um, and I thought he might have been one of them. I definitely think that he'll be in the Premiership in the near future. Maybe as a future leader in a mid-table team. Maybe if you think otherwise, leave a comment below. I'd like to know your own personal feedback. You may watch a, a lot of Championship football. I, I've kind of cut down on my Championship football a lot in the past year or so. Um, just because I'm running out of hours in a day to do everything I want to. With work commitments and obviously family and friends, it's really hard to juggle a YouTube career with everything else, especially when I'm working two jobs. I wish him the best of luck at Rotherham, and I can see him signing a uh, signing to the right club. He will definitely look at threat in defence in the Premiership, but for now, the Championship is a nice learning curve for him. Remember, he's only 23 years old, and there is a lot of room for improvement because the Premiership. Uh, centre backs can go on to the age of 36 and older. Just look at John Terry, one of the best centre backs the Premiership has ever seen, and he's like 36 years old. So, yeah, age really does not matter when you're a defender. It helps for the youth side of things, but it really does not matter as a overall. As long as you know what you're doing in defence, I can really see him being a good defender. So, we end off drawing this game which basically means that I won't sign a new player into the team. So this is the players that I could have for next week. I'll catch you next time, guys, for hopefully a new improved squad. Thanks I'll catch you next week, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this series. Um, I'm really enjoying recording it. Hit that like button and leave some feedback below.